Hey, what's up, guys? I thought I would take just a quick second and review the new Galaxy S Fold 3 S Pen case. I'm not going to go into details on the whole phone, and I'm not a phone review guy. But I thought I'd throw this out there because I couldn't find any videos. Um, I'm an Advent Note user. I've been using it ever since the original Note came out. I decided to trade up and go this route because I absolutely love the display when it's... I'm going to do this one-handed here. Fold it out. I uh, run my own business as a small business owner, one-man show. I run an appliance business. That's what my channel is catered to and uh, runs around. I, in the past, had used my note with a tablet. I used Dex uh, with QuickBooks. So I really wanted an all-in-one solution. Well, I skipped the Fold 2 because there was no S Pen support. So I thought this year I'd take a chance on it now that we have the S Pen and see if it would really work for me. I just got it in today. It actually showed up a couple days early. But what I really wanted to know was how does this case work with the S Pen? Is it functional? Will it work for me? Um, being a Note user, I set my phone up in the truck. I click it into place and use the GPS on it. So I... I don't think that I'm going to have this thing like wide open, uh, fully open with the GPS running. I'd have to replace my mount. If there's a mount that works for that, I might consider it. But right now, as it stands, with it clamped in place, there's no way to see it. So, you know, I kind of knew that. I'd also read that it wasn't magnetized. That's true. It just flops open. So I've already pretty much decided that... Uh, this case really isn't going to be usable for me, um, you know, because what I stay away from is I stay away from things that have a bunch of extra steps and get in the way of being productive. A lot of times we say, yeah, it'll be all right, but then you get into the day-to-day -day stuff and you get irritated, and uh, I'm just the type of person I don't like to be irritated on a daily basis, especially with something, you know, that's so nice as this. Uh, so here's here's the questions that I had that nobody were, was able to answer that now have been answered since I have it in my hand. One, yes, it's it just flops like that. Um, the S Pen is this little piece here. Check it out. is removable. So you push up on it and the whole case here can remove. So it's got a little guide here that slips in and secures in place. So if you wanted a slimmer case without the S Pen and you like the folio thing, there you go, you can take it off. So what I would have liked to see would be if this track right here were moved and just put placed right here on the back and this whole flop thing was gone, if you just had that and this, you could take it on and off like for wireless charging, but you could just slide that in there when you knew you were gonna be using your S Pen, really wouldn't be that intrusive, I wouldn't think, to have it secured here. And then on the front of the phone, just do away with the folio part. And like I've seen with some of the other cases where they have the snap-on piece with the little uh, adhesive strip on this side. Boy, that would have been cool to have it snapped on here. Like, yeah, your hinge would be exposed, but so what? You know, just think about on the Note, the front of your phone, it's always exposed. And then you put a screen protector. This does have the screen protector on the front, and it has the one on the inside. Uh, the other thing that I couldn't seem to find was the edges here. They are not rounded. Like, and if they are, it is so minimal that like, I don't know, you could totally put a standard tempered glass screen protector on here, which is what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll have to see if I can get some other case. Now, this was free from Samsung. I'll be honest with you. I might take a razor blade, chop that out and use some of that extreme stick and seal from Loctite. The stuff that's amazing never comes off and and re-glue it right here and buy a case to use half of it snap on the front with a tempered glass screen protector that would enable me to still click it in place in my uh, vehicle so that i could use the maps on the outside if i wanted to without having to change that whole setup i also just want to be able to pull it out of my pocket and use it i use the camera a lot on here and i'm not really hip on the idea of this flopping around while i'm doing uh doing videos so this is very much an impromptu video here, but uh, you know, I wanted to throw this out there because it's gonna be a while before um, everybody really gets to the finer points of the S Pen, and if they're not a Note user, they're not even gonna care, probably not even gonna go into it. 
But uh, so if you're a note user and you wanted to know how exactly, is this gonna be able to replace my note? Like, I think yes, it can replace your note. The S Pen usage on the inside is amazing. It's, uh, it's just like the note. I didn't notice any differences. I also don't use the Bluetooth features though. I never use that. I simply use it for taking notes and filling out bills of sale and stuff like that and then printing them off. So I do use this a lot. Um, and then if you'd watch some of the other reviews where they show how this pushes in, like you'd really have to be pushing hard on your screen for that to pump in there. Like you should never push so hard on your screen that that goes in like hurts, like, ow. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, that's ridiculous, but, uh, I like it. Overall, I like it. I'm either going to go with a different case or because since this was free, I might modify it. My wife hates it when I take razor blades to things, but hey, I fix appliances for a living. So what are you going to do? Anyway, I hope this answers some questions for some people thinking about switching from the note. I got a good deal trading in two phones. So all of a sudden down, I got this, the uh, 256 gig version. I got the Galaxy Buds uh, 2 two charging blocks um i think that's it and then of course this case here all with the phone all said and done i paid like 530 dollars so i bought a uh i bought a second note 20 ultra for 400 bucks from some guy and they gave me a 850 dollar credit so two notes traded in and uh i got a good deal really such a good deal i couldn't pass it up the cameras i took snapped some pictures of some of my products and it's just as good on here as it was on the note for the type of pictures I take. So overall, yes, I think this is gonna work great. Uh, the S Pen's awesome. I just need to figure out a little different case solution. So, you know, if I come up with something, if I end up chopping it up, I'll post a part two of what I end up using or just whatever my daily driver ends up being. I'll post on that because, uh, you know, we need to be able to carry this and this especially if uh, you use it to run your small business. The one thing that I use this on a daily for, use my note and had used it on my tablet, was uh, bill of sale. I just put a blank PDF bill of sale in my Samsung notes, and then I can go in there and pull it up, use my S Pen to erase previous customer's information, fill it out for all the new stuff, hit print. Once it prints off and I have a hard copy, I just, I just repeat that. I keep erasing and filling it out. Works great. It's really great if you do bill of sales, if you're, like I said, a small business owner. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check it out and bear with me on this. So it's my day off. So the phone came in on my day off. It's great. And uh, I'm going to play with it now. Thanks. Have a good one.